Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to a video. Today I'm showing you guys how I make my specialty ribs. Um, I've been asked to make a video of making ribs, sorry, by Bob. Um, he has tried actually copying down my ribs and well let's just say it didn't turn out well that she thought so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my style ribs um, in this video I'm going to be cutting down these ribs a little bit uh, because I bought a little bit smaller pan than usual um, what I'm going to be <coughs> using to help all the mess is this thing right here it was a dough holder where my parents had a friend that done baking and this is what they put the dough in um, so what we're going to be using is mustard and a nice ah, get a little bit close whoops nice maple rub because right now we're winding down in the season and it's fall time and <clears throat> and it's cold out <laughs> my brain froze for a minute but let's get on to making ribs so the first thing we need to do is get them out their packages one at a time it's always handy to have a knife with you and open it up. Set that, set the plastic off to the side. And what we have to do is see this nice silver lining in the back of this? Is you gotta get this silver lining off. I take a knife. Enough of it so I can get a grip <clears throat> with my hands. So I can start pulling it up. Come on. down, two more to go. off a little bit easier.
Okay, a little mess starting to come off to the side, so as we clean down this table, um, I already cleaned it when I started this video, so that's okay. Afterwards, I'll be cleaning it back up again. Let's just get rid of these right now. Okay, always, and I mean always, wash your hands, even if you throw stuff away in the garbage. Keep your hands nice and clean while you're cooking. But back to the last rib. Okay, now all three of our ribs has been pulled of the silver lining in the back. Now we got got to come to cut them to the sides of the pan. So this is not cross contaminating because that was the juice from these. So set that off to the side. Like I said, I bought too small of a pan for uh, the extra. Cut that off. Throw it in the corner. I bought a little bit too small of a pan. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna size this up with the pan <clears throat> and Just say we're gonna make it fit this ring. So this one's a little bit bigger than the other two. So let's just say and right here we're cut right there. Okay, that fits. <clears throat> One more time, still checking the file.
Always best to not use a steak knife. That is my number one mistake right now. I'm using a steak knife. Second one done. Last but, then, last but not least, the third one. Almost fit. But. Okay, next we can do is now do the rub. Bring this in. So what we're doing is we're going to be doing a marination where the rub sinks into the meat. So we're going to use the mustard as a binder and <clears throat> what we're going to do is must mustard these all up. Want to get in there nice and good with the mustard. Um, I want to make sure the mustard is really, really good. I want to get the mustard everywhere. Should have started with the back first and the front. Yep, a little bit more. The reason why we're using the mustard is help make um, the rub stick onto this. You won't taste the mustard at all when you're doing this. But um, I keep reaching for the disgusting ones. Well, the whole roll is disgusting. <laughs> Whoops. It's a daisy. Trying to get a little bit of mustard off of me as I can. So I can sprinkle on the rub. So for me, I like using the Smoky House Maple Seasoning because it's the best one. And the style I'm doing is called, eh, my hand won't stop shaking, Smoky House Rub. And the style of what I'm doing it's called the Coca-Cola ribs. Oh, and I'll rub. Second one. Now it's time to flip these over.
I missed the corner. So there we go. Um, <clears throat> this is the first step. Um, so what we want to do from the first step is get these into our trays. Oh wow. <clears throat> and I'll see you guys real quick to put these guys in the smoker after they get done marinating. Okay, now <clears throat> we're ready to smoke the ribs. I already pre put in stuff to ignite the smoker and our ribs have been marinating overnight. So now it's time to get the smoker going. So the type of wood that we're using today is apple, cherry, and some maple. So <clears throat> the apple wood, cherry wood, and the maple will burn in the burn box that is over here where you see all the smoke coming out of. It will go all the way up. The smoke will travel through the smoker up into the vent and out. Sorry for the little background noise. I live in the country and a lot of people commute on my road. But. <clears throat> so. Wow, I was smoking heavily today. <clears throat> what we want to do is get the smoker up to temp. And once the smoker gets up to temp, that's when we put in our ribs to get them smoking, smoking, and we'll smoke them for one hour. Then from there, we're gonna put our Coca-Cola and coffee in and wrap them up and let them <clears throat> let the Coke and coffee steam the ribs. And from there, I'll fill them out barbecue them and yeah it's getting hard to yell over vehicles that are louder than me But yeah, once those get done and it's time to barbecue them, we'll throw them in the oven to tack up and then it's time to serve. So I'm going to cut until it's time for us to put the ribs on the smoker. Now we're up to temp, so <clears throat> it's time to put our ribs on.
always make sure <clears throat> you have ribs further away from the <clears throat> firebox and you have ribs closer to the firebox so you can rotate them out. <clears throat> so now we're going to close them in and let them smoke for one hour. <clears throat> well, now it's time to oh, smoke. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of smoke. Be careful when you open this up. You're going to have a blast full of smoke. But now it's time to add your coffee and Coca-Cola. Two cups of coffee. Now the two liter of Coca-Cola. I like using an unopened bottle because that's where it draws in most flavor. And a nice and even. <clears throat> when you're doing ribs, you want to get to this bottom layer of the label. But since I am using two pans, I'm going to be using up the whole bottle. Now it's time to wrap them. It's kind of a little bit difficult because I think I'm limited on tin foil. wanted Also try doing it without spilling.
And there we go. Now we're going to wait <coughs> four hours for this to <coughs> cook. And then we'll take it inside the house and we will get the barbecue ready and barbecue them up and put them in our oven. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, now we're going to get our barbecue ready. So what I always do with my barbecue is... I get this type of bar barbecue sauce and a little bit of <clears throat> maple syrup and I combine them together in a bowl. So. There we go. <clears throat> you. <clears throat> I want to say you want to taste a maple, but you don't want a whole bunch of maple. The maple syrup overpowers barbecue sauce easily. I guess my hands are clean, so I'm gonna take off the spoon. That's good. Then you're ready to put. When you're ready, you can put this right on your ribs. I am so sorry I did not <clears throat> get the video of me barbecuing the ribs, but right here are all the barbecue ribs. Um, now they're ready to go back on the smoker. Um, I can't use the oven right now because it's very hot in my house. So we're going to take these, put them back on the sm smoker, let the <coughs> ribs tack up, and then these will be done and ready to go. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I was hope to see your guys' comments and views of how they turned out if you guys decide to make these. Thank you.